What is celiac disease? Celiac. Celiac. Celiac disease. Celiac disease. How does this all relate to social media? It certainly has its pros. However, gluten-free social media also has a dark side. Social media influencers who do not have celiac encouraging others to gluten -free, go gluten-free because they say they'll lose weight or something um, makes me very, very angry. There are some people that think that equate being gluten-free, a product being gluten-free, to being healthy. I see go going gluten-free and the prescription of going gluten-free from doctors as that has increased, but I feel like some of the times it's this blanket cure for things like, oh, it must be gluten, you, it must be gluten, you should go gluten-free now. We as Americans, we love a good hero story. How that translates to diet culture is that we love those stories about somebody who's had a really drastic body change. The reason that we're attracted to it is because it's not something that we expect. We know that that is like such a small percent of the population. Another part of that that I would add is that on social media, we never know how much Photoshop somebody has put into a photo, right? Like even if these images were true, then still, you know, that emotional provocation that people tend to experience when they see that big body change is because we know that that is so out of the norm. I think it's important to have people that are sharing real life, not just beautiful photos and a highlight reel at all times. From working with individuals who medically do need to remove gluten from their diet, it's really hard. And it can be really hard to know how to eat when you're going to a party, when you're celebrating a holiday. Um, and so I, I do think that social media can be a really positive tool for individuals who medically do need to remove gluten from their diet so that they can feel like they have more of a harmonious relationship with all the foods that they can eat, removing one specific protein. I think social media definitely helps um, the community know that we're here. Uh, I think it's a good reminder for customers who already love our product that we're here and what we have to offer. But what's also nice is to commiserate about just how much of a pain in the ass it is to get treatment for this. It brought this community together of people that once felt really alone or invalidated in how they felt about being gluten-free or giving up certain foods.